Good morning, church, and welcome to another devotion. I want to bless you with a bit of encouragement this morning as I was blessed when preparing for this devotion. So, if you want to read along, I'm reading from Micah today, Micah chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. It shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and it shall be lifted up above the hills, and peoples shall flow to it. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall decide for strong nations far away. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and no one shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. For all the peoples walk, each in the name of its God. But we, we will walk in the name of the Lord our God for ever and ever. Amen. How awesome is that? We can read this today and declare that we are going to the mountain of the Lord. And I ask you, are you going to the mountain of the Lord? Are you resting in His perfect rest? We might be resting in our own certainty of what's happening in front of us. Maybe we just got the vaccine or maybe we like reading a motivational quote every morning. But that's not perfect rest. You see, perfect rest is only in the house of the Lord. So, are you resting in His perfect rest? Are you going to the mountain? Are you declaring that His name is above all other names, above the name of Corona, above the name of government, above the name of lockdown, above the name of the vaccine? The name of Jesus Christ is above all other names and His house is on the highest of mountains. Amen. Jesus said in John 5, 25, A time is coming and is now when the dead will hear the voice of the Lord and they will live. And that's us. We were the dead. We were dead in our sins. We were spiritually cut off from God. But because God so loved the world, He gave His only Son so that all Anyone who believes in Him shall be saved, will not perish, but have everlasting life. And we have everlasting life. And we can go with confidence to the house of the Lord, the God of Jacob, so that He may teach us His ways. We shall not be afraid. Not afraid of corona, not afraid of the looting, not afraid of vaccine side effects, not afraid of... Uh, economic uncertainty with our businesses, but we will we will rest under our fig trees in the name uh, that is above all other names. We shall go to the mountain, to the house of the Lord. And while other people, each uh, with its own God, whatever that God is, money, health, God of Corona, We will rest in the name of our God, the Lord God, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. So, let us go to his mountain. Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, the highest mountain, so that he may teach us his ways and that we may rest in his perfect rest, in the grace of Jesus Christ, the name above all other names. Hallelujah and Amen. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful encouragement this morning. Thank you for your awesome word. Thank you that we can come to your mountain, to your house, because you have reconciled us to the Father. Thank you that we can come to you, Lord Jesus, just as we are. We don't have to do anything special or bring anything special, but we just come as ourselves. We lay it all bare before you, Lord Jesus, our sinful nature, our sinful bodies, our broken souls. And we just lay it all before your throne and say, Lord Jesus, 
We trust in you. We want to rest in your grace. Thank you that you make us whole, that you give us new bodies, new spirits, that you regenerate us with your grace. Thank you that we can be alive, that we are not dead, that we were dead, but we are alive because we have heard your voice. And we bless you for that. Thank you that we can declare that your name is above every other name. The name of government, corona, uh, money, health. Your name is above every other name. And we declare that in Jesus' name. Amen.